Hi everyone! Today I'm going to be painting on Arches oil paper, which I've only just started using. I've tried painting a couple of portraits with this surface, but I didn't really like the result, so I wanted to try again with something a little bit more simple to get a better understanding of it. So, I decided to go with painting some grapefruit again. This is the reference image I'll be using for this painting. I took it a while back when I did my first grapefruit painting video. Something about citrus is just so appealing. My first step is blocking out the shapes with oil paint thinned with mineral spirits. I chose to draw the pieces of the grapefruit with Indian yellow because that's a color that's easily covered up by darker or lighter tones and would give the painting a warmer tone too. If I had used a darker color like a red or a more blue tone, that may have affected the brightness of the highlights and the tones of the darker areas. In my last grapefruit video, I had a really hard time getting that vibrant pink color of the grapefruit, so I'm going to try a new color someone recommended on the last video called Quinacridone Opera. It's more transparent than most colors, so it was able to go over a light background and not lose the brightness like the red did in my last piece. The only thing about this color is that it's not super light fast, which means it can fade so wherever this painting ends up, I'll probably have to keep it away from the windows. I usually use a hardboard or wood panel for my paintings, and the paint just likes to sit on top of the surface rather than sink in. But because this paper was so absorbent, it acted almost like a watercolor, and you couldn't see the brushstrokes as much, especially in the beginning when I thinned out the paint. I kind of missed the crisp edges you could get with panel, but I started to like this too. It was actually easier to blend and get a softer gradient with oil paper. I've gotten so accustomed to the brush picking up the paint on a panel that I forgot what it was like to be able to actually have the paint stick to something and be able to blend it out easier. It's so interesting how much a surface can change the look and feel of a painting. At this point I started using a solvent-free fluid medium to thin the paint in order to get smoother brush strokes on this paper. Adding the highlights now, I use titanium white for the highlights, which is pretty much the brightest white you can get, and I don't thin it at all to get a really opaque look to those highlights, and to add some texture so it kind of jumps out at you. Now I'm adding in some darker, less warm colors like alizarin crimson to the parts of the grapefruit that are a little bit more dense because the light isn't shining through those areas. I also add a little bit of white to those colors in the shadows because it creates a slightly more cool tone in relation to the vibrant warms of the sunlit areas. I didn't want to start with too dark of shadows first because it would be harder to bring it back to a lighter color after I put it down, particularly if the paint is still wet. That's why I add the shadows in layers, starting with a light wash first to block it in in case I make a mistake and have to go over it with a lighter tone on top. Now I'm going over everything over and over again until I feel like the tones and the shades and values all look okay. <laughs> Someone in the comments suggested in a previous video to put a layer of gesso down in order to create a smoother texture on oil paper, and I did try it out with later paintings which helped a bit with those, but 
I didn't use it on this one. Kinda wish I had now. I didn't have a huge problem with the texture of the paper in this piece. The only thing was that I think it led to the paint leaking underneath the tape I put down. I think I was also using paint that was too watered down in that section, and if I had added some gesso as a ground first, maybe it wouldn't have left as many cracks for the paint to seep into. I guess that's just something to remember for next time. Thanks so much for watching, I really appreciate the support. I'll be doing more portrait pieces soon, but I've just been enjoying the low pressure and chill vibes of painting inanimate objects lately. This piece, as well as many of my other paintings and prints, will be up for sale on my website, danicarose.com, and be sure to check out my Instagram as well for more regular updates. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time!